Hey guys, welcome back to an Adobe After Effects CS6 tutorial for the new Boston. My name is Buddy Blackford, and this time we'll be going over keyframe key velocity again, but this time I'll be showing you a little bit about auto bezier keyframes and linear, and I'll show you like the difference between them. It should be a quick tutorial, and we might as well get started, and let's get on it. So... I'm using an arch with three points. This is my uh, motion path that I've used by animating position of this uh, tuna can. So as you can see right here, this is how it moves. In the previous tutorial, I explained uh, Easy Ease keyframes key and ho how those help make your animation more realistic and smoother on the eye. So what I want to show you this time is um, when you add an easy ease keyframe, let's add it at the end here. F9 is the hotkey, and it changes to an hour, hourglass, and we know that it has been easy ease because the, for one, it's an hourglass down there, and for a second, the, the uh, frames in the motion path have been condensed at the end. In the middle here, we there is a way to smooth out how this tuna can goes around this curve and makes it more appealing to viewers. So click on your keyframe in the middle and hold control and click on it again. It should turn into a circle. Now this is called an auto bezier keyframe. And keep an eye on your points here the uh, the frames the little dots on the motion path keep an eye on them while I switch between auto bezier keyframe and the linear keyframe well, it'll let's give me let's uh, move it over here you can see that it moves a little bit to smooth it out which means I have it in a pretty good position right now so let me move it out of position a little more you can see that there are, it's going to take longer to get to here, to this keyframe, key than it will to get down from here to here. Now if I smooth it out, you can see now how it changes the keyframes. Makes it a little bit more smooth, so drag, I'll drag this back in the middle and make for a smooth animation there. Let's... Uh, Preview the animation. Now he's coming up, he's accelerating out of it, and then decelerating at the end. So that's another way for you to animate the key keyframe velocity. Again, this was just a quick tutorial to show you that um, to get off the uh, keyframe, uh, to get off the auto bezier keyframe, hold down control or command on the Mac and click on it. And that's all for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys you learned something real quick and we'll move on to the next tutorial where we will be talking about the graph editor and how to use that to make your animations perfect. So see you guys next time. Have a good one.